Our topic for today is how to read pneumatic circuit. In this video, I will explain how to read and understand pneumatic schematic diagram. It covers single and double acting cylinder, directional control valve, flow controls, sensors, solenoid valves, and input-output ports. Directional control valves perform only three functions. Allow airflow, stop airflow, change direction of airflow. One of the basic directional control valves is two way valves, which is stop flow or allow flow. A garden faucet is a good example. Now let's get started on how to read directional control valves. Valves switching positions are represented by a square. The number of squares shows how many switching positions. Lines indicate flow path, arrows indicate direction. Lines indicate that is close. Connection outside the box or valve. This is one of the example of directional control valves. The first letter represents the number of ports and the second letter represents the number of position. This valve is a two two-way directional control valve normally open. The next one is straight two way directional control valve normally closed. The next one is four two way directional control valve flow from one to two and from four to three. The next one is five two way directional control valve flow from one to two and from four to five. Next, five three way directional control valve made position close. Our next topic is how to read numbering system of directional control valves. If your directional control valve uses number or letter for their port's direction, here's the equivalent for the numbers and letter. For number one and letter P, that is pressure port or supply ports. For number two and four, or A or B, that is working lines. For number 3 and 5, or R and S, that is exhaust ports. And for our pilot lines or signal, 10 is equivalent to Z, 12 is equivalent to Y or Z, 14 is equivalent to Z. Now let's proceed to our pneumatic component symbols. The two pressure valves works on the same principle with series circuit and AND gate. The output of the two pressure valve is true or high. If the two pressure input A and B are true, otherwise it's false. And the equivalent series circuit, the valve will only glow if the two switches are on. And if one of the switches are off, the light will not glow. And for the AND gate, it behaves according to truth table. The output of AND gate is 1 if both input A and B are 1, otherwise it's 0. If we are going to look here on the truth table, input A is 0, input B is 0, output is 0. Input A is 0, input B is 1, output 0. Input A, input A is 1, input B is 0. Output 0. Input A is 1. Input B is 1. Output is 1. And for shuttle valves, work on the same principle with parallel circuit and OR gate logic gates. The output of the shuttle valve is true if either of the two inputs are true. And for the parallel circuit, the bulb will glow if either of the two post buttons are pressed or two post button pressed together. And for the OR gate, it behaves according to truth table. The output of OR gate is true if either of the two inputs are true. Otherwise, it's false. Let's proceed with other pneumatic component symbols. This is the symbol of flow control bulb. Next the symbol of one-way flow control valve, 
symbol of compressor, symbol of filter, symbol of quick exhaust bulb, symbol of pressure gauge, symbol of air reservoir, symbol of check bulb, pressure regulator. The next topic is the method of actuation for directional control bulbs. This is the symbol for spring. The next one is symbol for solenoid, lever, and post button. Pilot. Next, roller. Our next topic is how to read pneumatic schematic diagram. If this is your first time here, don't forget to check my other videos like interview questions and answers, motor controls, robotics, and many more on my playlist. This is a single acting cylinder is to advance. When a pause button is pressed and the cylinder is to remain in advanced position until you release the pause button. When you release the pause button, the cylinder is to retract by a return spring. This is double acting cylinder and the control. A double acting cylinder is to advance when number one post button is pressed and it will remain extend until the number two post button is pressed. When the number two post button is pressed, the cylinder is to retract. 